This is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the Caribou from Beltra. Make sure that if you like this video that you click the big thumbs up to tell me so. If you don't, same thing, tell me you don't like it. I want to use that as sort of the metric that guides the sort of content that I make on this channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our content in the future. We make a lot of videos once we get rocking and rolling, so that's right around now. <laughs> Hit us up in the comments if you have any questions or, you know, you just want to chat us up. We're very responsive around here at Sister Wigs. So Caribou is really, really curly. She's heavily layered and very short. She's also got a lace front that goes from temple to temple and a left side monofilament part. All the lace features on this wig are hand drawn, which means that uh, a single person who has probably spent about 14 months in an apprenticeship, so this is a skilled trade, they actually draw each single hair through the sort of meshy lace, the Swiss lace that's there. It's it's kind of like a, a a grid. They take the thread, which is the hair, and they guide it through there individually, then they knot it off. And that's why you can see the knots on a synthetic wig with these features. This particular wig, it's very, very, very layered. So it has a lot of body potential, as in you can get a lot of volume without having to do a whole lot of work on this caribou. With that in mind, just keep, keep this in the back of your head. The more you play with this, the more you disrupt that curl, the more you're going to void your ability to return the hair because curly wigs are really special creatures. The more you play with them, the more the potential for frizz occurs and the more you disrupt the curl the harder it's going to be to get that shape back so you know if you if you think you might want to return it make sure that you don't play with it too much i'm just going to proceed as if this were my hair to kind of show you what i do i tickle it i use claw hands and i just sort of tickle the hair into submission this is mine ah. <laughs> And when you're trying to make a wig your own, you may even want to resort. Now, again, don't do this unless you plan to keep the wig. You want to turn it upside down. You're going to want to shake it, shake it off, shake it off. And you may even want to take some synthetic safe hairspray and zap this puppy right at the roots and then do the old scrunch scrunch. Spritz, spritz, scrunch, scrunch. Spritz, spritz. And don't, don't hit all the hair with the hairspray, just the roots. Scrunch, scrunch, spritz, spritz. You can see even without the hairspray, just shaking it, it's a little, ah! <laughs> it's, got, it's got a lot going on. So this is definitely not a wig for people who don't like a ton of volume because not only does she have all this layering and all of this curl, she's also got permatees in the top. Permatees are like little springy, kinky hairs that exist on the top of the wig and they'll give it even more body and volume. So you'll see that on this wig on the side opposite of the cap construction. You know what? Speaking of which, let's take a look at the interior of this cap, shall we? Caribou. Caribou. So let's take a gander, a glimpse at the inside of the cap of Caribou by Beltress. I'm gonna start in the back just for something a little bit different. You can see we do not have an extended nape, though it is covered with nice soft fuzzy felt. It's just a bit like a bra strap here in the back. We also have a generous amount of elastic in the back here, so this one will stretch quite a bit. Very nice and accommodating. Felt here on the ear tabs with a little bit of metal that will help keep it flush up against the sides of your head, so make sure you go like this when you wear your wig. So that way uh, that doesn't go and kind of give, a, give away the game, shall we say. We have a temple to temple lace front. It is pre-cut and translucent. We also have a left side monofilament part and all of this is lined with really nice plush fuzzy felt. There is permatease up here on the more opaque side of the cap that is opposite of that monofilament side part. And you can see that on Caribou, we get quite a bit of hair. You can see all those little tracks and how close they are to each other. That is really indicative of a wig that's going to have a lot of hair on it. 
and so you're gonna get really good coverage here with caribou but everything I've been saying is the story of body so much body all the volume you're gonna get that with this wig I like caribou I think caribou is very cute and quirky and she's got a lot of personality uh, I would say that um, I'm a little bummed out that she's heat friendly because she is, spoiler alert, a heat friendly synthetic wig. And if you've never heard my spiel about heat friendly synthetics, here we go. Heat friendly synthetic wigs clump. This caribou wig bypasses that issue because she's short. Uh, but just keep that in mind when you play with the curls because heat friendly synthetic fiber does not discharge static particularly well. So she will be prone to clumping. You can really use that to your advantage as long as you don't try to comb her. Comb this wig and you're done. You're done. Get a little peek at some of those lace features up close. Really, really cute wig. So that's about it. I really like this caribou wig, though again, I wanna make sure I got those caveats in here. There's definitely a strategy to how you wear this one and definitely do not uh, get this one if you intend to use a lot of heat styling on it just because the curl is really the whole point of this wig. If you change the curl, then... <sighs> And you're gonna have a dickens of a time trying to get that curl right back in there. So I would say, even though it's heat friendly, just let her go. Anyway, I'm Heather, I'm from Sister Wigs. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S dot com where you can find this caribou in lots of other styles. Just so you know, we have a very intentionally curated collection, so we don't carry every wig from every brand we carry. Uh, we carry stuff that our customers like. And if people don't buy it, we get rid of it. Even things that seem superficially really popular, if people aren't buying them. We're one of the only really analytics driven wig stores on the internet. So if you like that sort of attention to detail and the fact that we pay very close attention to what our customers like and don't like, as opposed to, you know, just what they're talking about, then you will really enjoy checking out our store. And I'd like to end this video with a moment of gratitude. I'd like to thank our Moon Kitty Mix-Up family on Facebook for being such a positive, energetic bunch. It's a really nice oasis of calm, particularly while we're dealing with this COVID-19 crisis. It's nice to have a place where we can just kind of play with the hair and not feel too self-conscious about it. It's a private group, so feel free to join us, but make sure you answer all of the questions because we don't let people into the group if they don't answer the questions at sign up. I'd also like to say thank you to all my amazing friends on Patreon. Yes, I'm on Patreon and it allows me to pick what I want to review and say what I honestly think about those products. Um, you get a little bit dependent on swag when you're working for promotional freebies. Um, what a lot of folks don't realize is that making video content like this is incredibly expensive. It's very time consuming and the raw products themselves are also very expensive as any of you who have tried to buy these and make videos for yourself can attest. And I'd like to send a special thanks to AKGG, who is one of our patrons on Patreon. We really appreciate having you with us, and I just want to make sure I gave credit where credit was due. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.